how's everybody doing? Um, I'm dressed in black in my black Bills hat. Because for all you football fans out there, I don't know if you witnessed last or Sunday's game, but the Bills were winning with 34 seconds left. And Kyler Murray from the Arizona Cardinals threw up a Hail Mary. Yeah, he caught it. And they won. And the Bills lost. It was a sad day. It was such a good game. Our quarterback was MVP, offensive MVP for the week. That's how good he played. <sighs> so never give up. They threw that Hail Mary because they never gave up and they ended up winning. Unfortunately, we are at the short end of the stick. But it's okay, we're at a bye this week. I'm just in mourning for a little bit and then we'll get right back into it. So anywho, um, I'm making two things today. Um, one of them is lickety split so it wouldn't take up a whole video so I'm going to incorporate it into an entree that I'm making Keith today. Um, I'm not a huge meat eater, you all know that. I get this chin and this gut and this ass from beer and mac and cheese. <laughs> true, true story. So anyway, oh god, I gotta wash my freaking finger. Touching my hands. So anyway, so I have my air fryer heating up because I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to make baby roasted potatoes or you know baby potatoes in a microwave you don't have to boil you don't have to throw your oven on or whatever um but I thought I'd show you till we get to the entree I'll just bendy bendy a little bit okay not hard at all guys so I just have a little you know turquoise bowl remember the old red bowl my big red bowl so anyway it's got a little bag of baby these are Gourmet Petite Pure Gold. Buy whatever you like. They gotta be little baby ones though, all right? So I have two tablespoons of melted butter in here. I already melted it. Cause you know, I'm so ahead of the game these days. Then about a half a teaspoon, a couple shakes of oregano, okay? And then some sea salt, all right? And you only gotta heat up your, um, a good, good pinch, all right? Um, you have to heat up your, your 400 degrees, your air fryer, for about five minutes, okay? Let me throw that out. And then you need to toss your taters. Toss them, toss them, toss them. In the butter, oregano, and salt, okay? Make sure they get coated. Um, two tablespoons isn't a lot of butter, but look at They nice and shiny. Shiny bright, most of, yep, just keep doing it until you get all that yummy salt and oregano, okay? These are so simple. Buy the ones that are about this size, look at, a nice little size. There are a couple in here that were giant mama lukes. I'll leave them. If they don't get done, I'll just throw them in for a little longer, okay? So while we're cooking the other stuff, guys, air fryer's done heating up. Tossing them in there, you can hear, Sizz sizzling. Throw it in there, okay? And um, it's keeping it at 400 degrees. I need to stop it because I need to um, set the timer correctly. Temperature back up to 400 and 15 minutes. It's like between, uh, I want to, you know, like 14 and 17 minutes. Some air fryers are weak. Um, so, you know, you just got to get your right setting. You know your air fryer, you know your air fryer. If they're not done, you poke them with a fork, you pull them out. If it comes out instantly, they're done. If you like them crispier, leave them in a little longer. If you don't like them that crispy, then pull them out. Um, some people say that they're not getting as crispy as they like. So you just have to play it around, I guess, maybe oil instead of the butter. But I like to use the butter. Who doesn't love butter better? I do. So anyway, yeah, look, my Yeti holder. I know. Mm. I'm just having one. We worked all day in the house. All kinds of tasks. So I treated myself to one. Mm -mm -mm. Delish. Okay. So, here's the big thing for Keith. He loves spice. You know that. So I came across a recipe for Cajun butter bites. Cajun butter steak bites. So, I already messed up a little bit, but shocker! Anyway, I cut my steak up too little. I used ribeye. 
Um, and then I, um, these ribeyes were beautiful. I took them out of the, the freezer and they were, oh, they're gorgeous. Just a shame just to cut all the meat out, you know, because they were a nice size too. Keith would have really enjoyed gnawing on the bone. <laughs> Not me. I don't like gnawing on the bone of any kind. Hello. Anyway, so um, we're gonna come over. We're gonna go over to the stove. I've never made them before, guys. So um, here's another little tidbit. I've never used uh, a uh, what do you call it? A wrought iron pan? Yeah. So yeah, I have one. I got it for a gift from the casino. Shocker there. But I've never used it, and I'm not gonna use it now on a first time. So I'd have to really test it out first and got comfortable with how it. Um, Cast iron pan, not already a cast iron pan, um, to make sure I felt comfortable enough cooking with one. So that could be an adventure together as well. All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna bring you over. Now bear with me how I get the camera set up so you guys can watch everything, all right? Let's make sure you can see it. Uh, all right, oh, you can. All right, let me see. Maybe bring you down a little bit. Mm. Not so high. No, no, no. Oh, shaky, shaky. Oh, let's see. Oh, oh, how's that? Okay, can you see it? I need you to be a little further back. How about that? Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, so I have the pot, the pan already. This oil is hot. It's supposed to be a scorcher. And you see what I mean? When I told you I cut my steak too small, they need to be like one inch thick steak bites all the way around but this beautiful ribeye we're going to toss it in. oh you want to hear that right we want to hear that okay so i already messed up again there's no cajun so guys i was supposed to douse them in cajun before they went in we'll just improvise a little bit all right keep will care all right well then it sucks okay so, and then you gotta flip them, get all the sides nice and seared. Like if I had big bites, I would have them all in the pan and do one side and then flip them. But, oh, they're good, they're good. All right, I didn't mess up too bad with the Cajun. Let's try to get each side nice and good and yummy. I'll flip them, flip them, flip them. See how little, but they're for little bites. I like little bites. Who doesn't like little tiny food? I do, I do. Cajun smells good. He keeps in the living room watching football, college football, and he's probably smelling and loving it. See, also with these little ones, you might get them overdone, you know, because you're cooking them now like this. And then we have to take them out of the pan. Oh, they're, 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 they're getting nice and seared. Can you see them? I'll bring you closer in, okay? As soon as I get them all turned. Oh, eh. Smells delicious. So if you don't, guys don't have Cajun seasoning at home, it's just a bunch of spices together. Um, paprika and cayenne and pepper and probably garlic powder. I don't know. There's like nine or ten spices that you get to make the Cajun. I usually make it in a batch and put it in a bowl or a container and keep it in my, uh, in my uh, drawer. Spice drawer. And that's exactly where this came from. I made it for a different recipe, this Cajun. All right, I'm gonna get you a little closer. Who wants to zoom a zoom a vision? Okay, here we go. Zoom in, zoom in. See the sizzle and the steak. Oh, yeah, man. How's it look? I know, delicious. Okay, come on. Let's see. Let's get you started. Gotta love this camera action. This is like some legit shit, right? All right. I want to make sure they're good. Those potatoes are cooking away. They're not going to be, we'll be done before those potatoes are done, so. But I just wanted to show you, I threw that in the video, so you see how easy it is to make them in the air fryer. Everyone always asks me, more air fryer recipes. I want to get one and I don't know how to use it. Well, I'm showing you as we go. All right. So, these look good. So what we have to do, Move this plate, we'll take this plate over there, okay? Because we have to take them out of the pan, okay? 
Some are, some are medium, some are rare, some are probably gonna be, but they get cooked a little bit again. We just wanna make sure they're not too rare. Keith likes a nice medium. He really does. So, me too. I don't like it. Well, well done meat. Oh my God, why eat meat? Right? Who's with me on that? <clears throat> so, all right. I think these, I'm gonna feel one. Oh, they look pretty, feel pretty good. They do. All right. I'm gonna take them out, but I want to keep the stuff in the in the pan, like the juices and stuff. Taking them out. I have the heat still on. All right. Come on, I want you to see this. Mm. Okay, better. So I took the bites out. Now you add some butter. All right. I didn't cook the, the steak bites in butter because the pan needs to be so hot and then you burn the butter, all right? So we wanna get this butter melted, melted nice. I'm gonna use this wooden spoon to scrape up all those steak bits that are on the bottom. All that lovely, lovely flavor, okay? Yummy, okay, butter's good. Now, you don't need long, guys, because you don't want to burn your garlic, because this is nice and hot, and the butter's getting, look at nice and bubbly. Four cloves of garlic. I have two tablespoons of crushed garlic that I buy in the jar, because you know I can't be bothered. Even though I do have a garlic crusher now, I got it from the casino as a nice gift. Gifts are getting lamer and lamer. So anyway, oh, can you smell that? Oh, butter and garlic probably one of my most favorite flavors combos there garlic bread oh butter garlic chicken garlic 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 okay all right so you don't want to burn your garlic you don't want to burn your butter so I'm turning off the heat putting back in our steak bites okay Toss them around in this yummy garlic butter glaze. Oh God, guys. It smells so good. Doesn't it smell good, Keith? Yeah. Right? Oh. All right. Yummy. Let me get a cute plate. Cute plate. Oh, look, guys. Oh my God. Right? Hang on there. One more finishing touch. Oh no, where is it? Where's my most used thing? No, no. There we go. I don't have any fresh parsley because you know I don't do fresh of anything. So here, but look. Put some nice fresh parsley on for yourself or dried like me. All right, I'm bringing the camera back over here so we can do a little taste. All right. Mm. How is that? How easy was that, guys? Oh, my God. Right? Oh. Now, I'm not a huge meat eater, you know, but I can't really resist trying one of these. Oh. Damn foam filled up again. I literally can shoot a video, I have to delete it right away, and uh, I didn't delete the last video. And then I have to offload the YouTube app because it uses six gigs of storage, and then I have to reinstall it. It's just a shit show. And then I ordered a new phone and it got delivered at the old house. So I have to go pick it up now. Wah, wah, wah. Anywho, let's get back to where we were. Where I left you off. Okay, so the steak bites. Oh my God, look at these. Shit. Right? Oh my god. Look at that beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna swirl it around. I'm just gonna have one because I guys I don't like a lot of heat. Mmm. Tender. That ribeye. Oh guys. They're so good. Oh my god. Butter, they're spicy. So, if you don't like spice, 
you gotta um, lay off a little on the cayenne or the paprika or the red pepper flake. Um, oh crap. But um, should I have one more? They're not bad. The meat's not bad for you, is it? So yeah, ha! Guys, too much butter right there. That wouldn't be a good job. You have to try these. Cajun butter bites. It happened again. You fucking, what a shit show. Let's hurry up though. So we had the Cajun bites. You liked them, I liked them. And uh, you guys have to try this recipe. They are so freaking yummy and so freaking delicious, but they are a little spicy. So if you don't like spice, this one's not for you. One more. Ooh, potatoes. Let's check on them quick before I run out of food. Oh, look at, they're there. Look at this. You have the crispness. Oh my God. Guys, hot steaming potato. I'm gonna pick it up for you. Ooh, ah, yee! Oh, you know what I did? I took that potato and I dipped it in the Cajun butter. Mmm, guys, great meal. Make it for your family. Hope you like the recipe. Sorry for all the interruptions. I probably would have had enough video if I didn't whine about the Buffalo Bills at the beginning of it, right? Just shut the hell up, Penny, and get to the recipe. But anyway, everybody have a great day. Like, share, subscribe, thumbs this up, and everyone have a great day. Uh, peace.